go to John Kernan. <laughs> this is the hardest man to uh, track down out here in the staging lanes before the race. John is all over the place, but he is the number one qualifier taking on Brian Thill when we get to the uh, funny cars. And John, still haven't won yet this year. Got your third straight number one qualifying position, but today is race day. What's the outlook? Got a real good hot rod. It's 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 been low quali qualifier, Dean Antonelli, Ron Douglas, and that Castro Ford. I'm doing my job for Auto Club and, and everybody, but I, but I need to get a win. Low qualifier is great, but see, we, we were learning how to run in the heat yesterday because that's what we're going to have here today, and yet we could have cloud cover. We can do that too. And yeah, as far as run around in this Simpson fire suit, <laughs> yeah, I've already gotten beat up for being on the start line. You're out there behind Cruz Petragon. Are you trying to steal his TV? Are you kidding me? I'm trying to find out how this kid drives. I want to watch him, how he's going in against these people. I study these drivers. The more you know about them, the more you know, you know, you know how to race them. I ain't up there trying to get TV. I get plenty of that. But if I can get some Simpson fire suit in there, why not do it? All right, let's go to Stat Guy. I'll tell you, John Forrest has only lost first round here three times in 22 prior starts at Houston Raceway Park, now known as Royal Purple. Well, last year to Tony Pedregon, he was on the pole. And then back in 2000, Bob Gilbertson, when Bob won the race from the bump spot, Brian Thrill looking to pull off one of those major upsets in the sport coming up later. John Forrest, the number one qualifier as we continue in top fuel. And there is the number one qualifier. How are you doing, Tony? Tony Schumacher. He faces Troy Buff. Well, Tony's got to be feeling a little bit better. He's seen a, a couple cars in front of him in that left-hand lane go down the racetrack. So, obviously, with lane choice, your number one qualifier, he's taking it. Troy Buff, local racer here up in Bill Miller's uh, race car, and really struggled in qualifying. Blue, he ended up big time on uh, Friday, but they came back and were able to punch the thing into the show yesterday, and now they're up against the number one qualifier. Now the red light. Oh, and Tony Schumacher shuts down. My goodness, you're going to be doing some thinking about that if you're Troy Buff. His fifth attempt to beat the seven-time champion, Bill Miller, car's owner. Yeah, I don't know either, Bill. I have no idea. And Bill's upset, and he should be, because I'll, I'll tell you what, you know, he, he, I, in the old days, they used to say, if you don't red light a couple times, you're not trying hard enough. Well, that's BS, because now you have reaction times to tell how hard you're trying. Never red light if you don't, if you can't, because you've given away. You have no chance to win right there. Now, had Troy Buff had been late, Tony goes out there and smokes a tire, Troy had a shot to actually win that round. Seems like a lot of red lights in top fuel, Mike. It is unusual, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Lancy. All right, so Top Fuel continues on. Back in the staging lanes, Funny Car is getting ready to go. You saw your number one qualifier, John Forrest, a minute ago. That's Tim Wilkerson. He's your number two qualifier. They'll be coming up.